years, we've recognized that fat cells are more susceptible to cold than other cells in our body. And so some scientists from Harvard discovered a way where they can selectively cool the fat cells, leaving the skin and the normal structures intact. And thus, over a period of several months, those fat cells will dissolve and go away. Well, the most common area would be the areas of the flanks or the love handles. Both men and women, uh, no matter sometimes what they do, diet or exercise, just can't get rid of those areas. Cool sculpting isn't for major weight loss, and mostly it's used for contouring the body. There are small areas of the body where sometimes, no matter how much we work out, that little pockets of fat just don't go away. The cool sculpting procedure is really a contouring procedure, so it reduces small pockets or bulges of fat that people see that they can't get rid of with other means, such as diet or exercise. After cool sculpting, the fat cells that have been removed are removed completely. Unlike dieting, when we diet, our fat cells reduce in size, but they're always there. With this procedure, the fat cells that get injured are removed completely from the body and they're not coming back. Well, generally, after the procedure in the area that we treated, people see about a 20% reduction in the, in the small bulge area that we treat. And this translates into about a quarter of an inch reduction in that area. Cool sculpting really doesn't compete with liposuction in the fact that it's more of a contouring type treatment as opposed to reducing larger volumes of fat. Uh, currently, there aren't any other non-invasive treatments that are FDA cleared for fat reduction. Most of the patients that we're treating now, when they come back at six and eight weeks after the treatment, are very excited about the results. And in fact, they either want another application in that same area to reduce a little bit more fat, or want it applied to other areas that they uh, hadn't chosen initially. So as, as we've noticed, we've seen a nice reduction here where we placed the applicator initially. And as you do that, you tend to maybe see some other areas that may be more noticeable. So certainly this area here, we could put another applicator on there and we'd see an additional 20% or a similar amount of reduction in this area as well. Great. So what we're going to do is just sort of isolate the area that we're going to treat and then make a mark. I'm going to move it over just a little bit right at the apex there where we're going to put the applicator and then we'll know exactly where to put the device. I do work out, I do weights, I'm a big hiker, um, so really looking for something that would reduce certain areas was perfect for me. And I always had, after having my daughter, that one area that I just couldn't get rid of, and this really hit that. When I did the cool sculpting, it was cold at first when they first put um, the pad on there, and then after that, it was I didn't feel anything from it. I literally sat there and worked on my Blackberry and watched a movie. I was very pleased with the results. I actually had um, a, a half an inch reduction and um, it just was amazing to feel the results in my clothes already were looser. I, when I came back for my follow-up, I just knew that I had already had a reduction and could just tell everything felt great. The fact that Cool Sculpting had no needles and no surgery with it was exactly why I wanted to do it. It just seemed like it would limit my downtime afterwards and was such a fast procedure to do that it fit into my, my routine.
I'm, uh, you know, 42 years old, and, and I kind of want to look like I did when I was 20. I saw the results actually in about a month to a month and a half, and uh, more firmness. Um, my pants fit better. I just felt better. Uh, more firmness. Um, my pants fit better. I just felt better. Felt better.